Hi guys, this is John here. Continuing our concept of propellers, I'm going to spend some time today discussing about how the weight of the drone plays an important role in deciding the design of these motors. So basically today, we will look at an important concept of thrust and weight. So let us get started. First, let me explain to you we all know the concept of weight. Weight means the amount of force that this drone is exerting towards the Earth's surface, which is downwards. So basically, if I keep this drone and if I drop it, it goes down. And the speed at which it goes down is defined by the weight of this drone. Weight is nothing but mass into gravitational acceleration and gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second square. So the weight is the force with which it comes down. And basically for this drone to fly up, the propellers need to generate enough lift. So in the previous lecture, I explained to you how when a propeller rotates, it generates lift by pushing the air down, by pushing the air downwards. And because of the air being pushed downwards, the propeller goes up. And here we have four propellers and each propeller together generates some lift because of the total lift the drone is actually able to fly. Now the question is how much lift must these propellers generate so that the drone can fly? That's the key question here. So now let me give you some basic understanding and some basic calculations so that at your level you are able to understand that. So let us say that the weight of this drone is one kilogram. It is actually much lesser than that. I'm just making it simple for you to understand this. So for my drone to effectively fly, my propellers, these four propellers have to generate enough lift such that the force generated by this lift is more than the weight of this drone. So let me show you a simple example. My hand is able to carry this drone because the force with which I am picking up this drone is more than the weight of this drone which is pulling it downwards. So if I say that the weight of this drone is one kilogram means that the force with which it is acting downwards is 10 Newton. Actually it is 9.8 Newton because the gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second square. So let me show you a quick calculation for you to understand how this works. So now considering that I have a drone here and the weight of this drone is one kilogram. Now one kilogram means the force of this drone acting downwards is one into 9.8, which is equal to 9.8 Newton. I'm just going to round this off to 10 Newtons. Now let's keep it simple. So now the force acting downwards on this drone is 10 Newton. Now for this drone to fly upwards means these four propellers, let's mark them one, two, three, and four. All four propellers have to generate a force which is more than 10 Newtons. And only when it's more than 10 Newtons will my drone actually start moving upwards. Otherwise, if the force going upwards is not greater than 10 Newton, if this doesn't happen, your drone actually starts going downwards because of gravity. So how do you do that? So what happens is each propeller here is driven by a motor and this motor rotates each propeller in a particular direction as I had explained in the previous lecture. And as you remember, 
I had shown you with a hand helicopter where we said higher the RPM is equal to higher lift and when we said higher lift we mean that each propeller will generate a higher force in an upward direction which is basically lift and what it means that all four motors here have to generate more force so you have to see that the RPM of each motor is such that it generates a high amount of lift and because of this lift you will have a higher force and because of this you have to make sure that the total force generated by each motor here and when you add them up it is greater than 10 Newton so effectively since you have four motors you have to make sure that each motor is generating at least 2.5 Newtons of force so that when you total them it is 2.5 into 4 which is equal to 10 Newton and at 10 Newton the upward force is equal to the downward force and at that time the drone will stay stationary in the air and that is called hovering or hover so basically what you have to do is first you should know what is the weight of the drone and convert that weight of the drone into newtons as I showed you then second you need to know the amount of thrust generated by each motor and hence the propeller so it's the motor plus propeller combination and these guys together you will know what is the thrust generated and the total thrust generated by the motors should be greater than the weight of the drone so the total thrust generated by all the motors 1 2 3 4 should be greater than the weight of the drone this is an important calculation that you need to understand if your thrust is not enough your drone will not able to lift off from the ground and this basically will prevent your drone from ever flying so the choice of the thrust generated by the motor and the propeller together and the weight they play a very important role in what we call as the payload of your drone so tomorrow when you attach a camera like this to your drone you will also have to calculate the weight of the camera and add it to the weight of the drone and this becomes now your total weight and this total weight will now will be part of this equation and then what happens is your thrust calculations might change so in very simple words if I have to summarize the total thrust generated by each motor when you total them you add them together so thrust 1 thrust 2 thrust 3 thrust 4 when you add them it has to be greater than the weight and that's the only way your drone will lift off and this is a very important calculation that you need to understand so in this lecture I wanted you to understand how do we generate lift now what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and try this in our simulator I will explain to you how we will look at these weight considerations in your simulator whether the RPM defines whether your drone will fly up or not so I hope this basic lecture was clear for you guys. In the next lecture, we will look at the practical aspects of these things. I will see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.